Hi, this is Matt from Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're looking at the just released Rocket Fuel from Lunatic Audio. It's essentially a multi effect with crazy modulation. Let's have a look at it. So Rocket Fuel is essentially a multi-effect, or a Swiss Army knife of effects if you like, that features quite extensive modulation capabilities. So on the main page, as you open it up, you can see the X, Y axes. This essentially is two macros, X and Y. So you can assign whatever, whatever parameters you want to these axes, and then you can move and drag it along as you'd expect. Below that we have four LFOs. So this is just visual representation of those LFOs, which is assigned in the next tab. So if we go over to the next tab here, here is where all the effects are created and assigned. And then below that you have the four LFOs that I alluded to earlier. Also on that, just a minor little comment for future versions potentially, I'd quite like the ability to be able to click these four LFOs and then go directly to these four here. Not a big deal by any means, but it'll just make it a bit quicker to navigate. I said at the start, it is a multi-effect and that's because we have quite a few options of effects here. So you can see we have a utility module, a phaser, distortion, a compressor, a chorus, a filter, a delay, a reverb, a limiter, and then you can also put another filter on or another utility on. Then within each of these effects, you have various presets. And speaking of which, there are a load of presets, not only for the effects themselves, but for the entire plugin. Below that, as I said, we have the four LFOs. So these you can assign to anything. So if you click on LFO one, for example, then you can create the modulation like so. Or LFO two, let's assign that to width, for example and then LFO3 to mix, so on and so forth. Then onto the third tab, it's essentially the mod matrix. In terms of how this plugin is structured, you have the main preset, which is made up of an effect chain and the modulation chain. And each of those has its own presets. So you can choose the presets like so, or you can then change the individual FX chain presets. So currently it's hyperdimension, or we can change this to just, just breathe. So that will change the effects here but it won't change the modulation. Or conversely, you can change the modulation and then keep the FX chain fixed. Or like I said, you can change the entire thing like so. And then there's quite a few randomization possibilities also. So now you can see this little dice down here. So if I click on this, it will add a new effect, but a completely new random effect. Let's do it again. Now it's added the utility or a chorus, another utility and a filter. So quite cool. But if you want to randomize the entire preset, then if you click up here, and then you get this little awesome animation, and then the entire preset has been randomized. So now we're looking at eight bar landscapes. We can do it again. Now this is still not high. So quite cool, it's one of those things if you're flicking through presets and nothing is working, then click the little randomization and you never know what will pop out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to initialize this preset, and I'm just going to create something very, very basic. <coughs> Let's go to the effects here. I'm going to turn off these. Let's keep delay on. Phaser can come off. Reverb off. Limiter off. Compressor off. Chorus. And distortion off. So now we just have the filter and delay. Let's turn off the rate sync. I'll put this down quite low. And then we'll assign this to the frequency, like so. Let's we'll just play back something. I have a, a few random loops loaded. <laughs> Okay. So we have some basic filter modulation. Let's turn this down though. And then we're going to assign the X axis to the rate, like so. So now really nothing is happening, but if I move this across, you can hear it increase. Let's go back. Let's assign macro Y to the mix, like so. And let's turn it, let's go only 50%. About there, 51, that will do. Let's put it on ping pong. And we'll also assign this to the resonance. Ensure that it is unipolar. So we have here resonance, put it on unipolar. Let's find a drum loop. Let's go like this one. So now when it's at the bottom left, nothing is happening. But when I increase the X axis, the LFO filter modulation will come in. And then when I move the Y axis, then the delay will come in. Or both. So 
It's obviously just a very, very simple preset just to give you an indication of how the modulation works and how that interacts with the X and Y axes. Then over here to the right, you have essentially a filter of what frequencies the modulation will apply. So let's now have a listen to some of the amazing presets. I won't talk much when I'm going through this. We'll just flick through and have a listen yourself. So let's get started. Ambience, let's go ambient dimension. I won't go through all of them. Sorry, a bit of distortion there, overloaded. my favorite. Just to bypass it so you know what we're listening to as the source. We have this Rhodes. And then with Rocket Fuel engaged, completely unrecognizable. Thank you. 
Let's see what's in groove. Let's pick. Let's go slow flow. You can obviously move the effects around, so let's put the filter before reverb, like so. And let's do the same with the second filter. Maybe change this one to a phaser before the reverb.
Now let's add some distortion and go a bit mental with it. Quite a lot of options here. Let's go maybe germanium. Such a great sounding plugin, so much fun as well. So to sum up, like I said, it is basically a multi-effect with a crazy modulation section. So go check it out, and I'm sure you'll have hours of fun playing with this thing. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.